Okay, good morning. Ang um, topic natin for today is hip-hop. Okay, ano pong puma yung hip-hop? Yan. Alam ko kung familiar na po kayo sa hip-hop. So, ang hip-hop po natin, makikita po natin yung definitions ng hip-hop. And also the history of hip-hop. Saan ba nagmula yan? Okay? Ano po ba yung mga ginagamit po sa hip-hop? Tapos yung classification or types po ng hip-hop. Merong iba't iba pong hip-hop po tayo. Hindi na po siya sayaw. Marami po yan, no? Yung dance form ng hip-hop po natin. Meron po yung mga iba't ibang steps na po ng hip-hop. Okay? Then, elements of dance. Yung sa elements of dance, meron din po tayo dyan na mga mga signature or tinatawag po natin na trademark ones na nag na hip-hop po or nagda-dance po tayo o gumagamit na po tayo ng mga mga steps po ng pagsasayaw then also the principles of com composition so dito po hindi po natin siguro malatakal po to kasi hindi po kakayahin so marami po siyang napakalawak po ang hip-hop no, napakalawak po so definitions po naman ng hip-hop yan, hip-hop is a cultural movement that attained widespread popularity in 1980s and 90s. Ibig sabihin po kasi ang hip-hop, dito po, nagmula po yun sa 1980s, yung mga siguro po, mga nanay-tatay na na natin po yun. Na ngayon po araw po pa rin, nag-exist po pa rin sila, na, na nag-hip-hop pa rin, na sumasayo po rin po sila. Yan. Alam po yung mga kailangan sa hip-hop po natin. Ito po yung back-up, back, backing music, or sorry, for rap, the musical style incorporating rhythmic and or rhyming speech that became the movement most lasting and influential art form. Okay, dito sa hip-hop po natin, syempre, alam niyo naman po siguro yung rap or rappers. Yan. Yung mabibilis or di kaya yung mga astig na na mga sounds para po siya nag-rap, no? Pero hindi po siya nag-rap, pero talagang nag-rap po siya. Ang gulo ko, no? So, ayun po, no? Ayun po yung mga kailangan sa pagsasayaw ng hip-hop dance. O di kaya, pag sinabi po kasi hip-hop, hindi lang po siya sayaw. Okay, hindi po lang po siya sayaw yan. Basta marami po, makikita nyo po mamaya, ano po yung iba't ibang uri or elements or types ng hip-hop po natin. Okay, ano pa po? A dance style usually dance to hip-hop music that involved for hip-hop culture. The first dance associated with hip-hop was break dancing. Yan. Ay yung kanaunahan pong hip-hop dance, ay po yung mga break dancing. Please na nangyari na na-experience ko na rin po siya. Kaya ito po yun, no? Yung na-experience ko po siya, kwento ko lang po, no? Ang hip-hop dancing po kasi or break dancing po natin natin was na meron po sayawan o di kaya kinasan sa isang baryo. Pwede ka po sumayaw po doon. ba diba, Alam niyo naman po siguro yung yung sweet dance. Okay? Pagkatapos ng sweet dance, doon na po yung break dancing. Okay? kung bagay yung hip-hop dancing or hip-hop music. Doon na doon po yung gagalaw po yung paa mo, mabilis po yung gumalaw yung paa mo, that's the break dancing. Na hindi po lang po sa paa, pwede po siyang thumping. Sabi po dito is, while break dancing consists primarily of moves ex executed close to the ground, the majority of hip-hop moves are executed standing up. Yan. Yung naka always nakatayo naman po ito na ang ginagawa is yung paa po natin is mabilis gumalaw. Pati pwede na po natin is sali yung kamay po natin na hinahawakan yung yung damit once nag, na nagbe-break dancing na po tayo. Okay, ayun po yung break dancing na na-experience ko dati. Okay? Although wide, widely considered as synonym of rap music, The term hip-hop refers to a complex culture comprising four elements. Ito na, ito na po yun. Hindi po lang po siya um, sa pagsasayaw ang hip-hop. Okay? The number is DJing or turn tumbling. Pag sinabing DJing, ito po yung siya po yung nagpapamusic or siya po yung DJ sa sa event na yun. Okay? 
ang mga DJ siyempre may hawak po yan na na mic palagi nagka-rap din po yan and that's the DJing so siyempre meron po tayong rapping also known as MCing or rhyming okay once na nagra-rap ka parang nakikita nyo na po yung mga rapper po natin mga ngayon is almost na MC po sila ang tawag po sa atin is MC or rhyming na tinatawag yung flip top po na tinawag po natin is siguro hindi na po siya tinatawag na rapping kasi almost na nakapagsira ng katauhan ng isang tao or pwede mo kalupatin yung katauhan ng tao okay hindi po siya kabilang para sa akin po hindi po siya kabilang sa rapping okay ang rap po natin is yun po nagarain po siya MC para po siyang katulad ng mga chorus one ayan po ex battalion ayan ayan po yung mga rap example of rap okay yun po yung si yung king of rap po natin si Magalona ayan si Magalona siya po yung pinaka kauna-unahang rapper sa Pilipinas okay Then, number 3, gravity painting, also known as graph or writing. Pag sinabi pong gravity painting, ito po yun ha. Test lang po natin. Ang gravity painting... Para po siyang doodle. dudel sa pader yan ayan yung gravity painting no papakita ko lang po sa inyo kung ano po yung gravity painting yan yan po yung gravity painting okay yan. kadalasan ginagawa po yan sa siyempre sa labas po ng, ng mga covered court mga pader na yun na hindi na po siya ginagamit pwede po silang yung magpainting po doon pero vandalism na po yun yung sinasabi po doon na dapat po may permission po tayo sa local government po natin or sa LGU po natin na magpainting po tayo doon okay, ayun po yung sinasabi na gravity painting um, pag sinabing gravity painting ito na sinasabi na graph or writing eh, at ito rin po yung tinutukoy na hip-hop. Okay? B-boying, which encompasses hip-hop dance style and attitude along with the sort of very body language that philosopher Cornel West described as postural semantic. Ibig sabihin po ng B-boying, ito po yung mga suot po ninyo. Yung suot po natin is maluwag, sobrang luwag. Yung cup po natin is para, di ko po alam kung anong tawag doon kasi hindi naman po ako hip-hop, no? Yung cup po natin is malaki po siya. So, yung mga damit po natin, tapos meron po po tayong mga palawit-palawit. That's the hip-hop. Okay? Ayun po yung mga hip-hop po dati, no? Okay, ano may sample video po tayo dyan ng hip-hop, no? So, ang hip-hop po natin may sample video. Ayan po yung example ng hip-hop dancing po natin, no? So, hindi ko na po play, alam nyo po, alam nyo na po yun. Ano, pag-piece po natin mo, naka-like po natin. So, history, origin, uh, origins and that all schools, hip-hop originated 
in the predominantly African America, economically depressed South Bronx section of New York City in the late 19- 1970s. Gravity and breakdancing are the aspects of the culture that first caught public attention had the least lasting effects. Ibig sabihin po, dito po sa New York City, dyan po nagmula ang old school ng hip-hop dancing. Okay? Dyan po nagmula po yan. Tsaka yung gravity. Okay? And break dancing, dyan po siya nagmula sa New York City noong 1970s. So, ito po yung mga example po ng hip-hop dance po natin. Okay? Types of hip-hop dance style. Okay? I-discuss ko po sa inyo yung locking, popping, electric boogie, break dancing or b-boying, up work or tinatawag na top work, top rock pala, sorry, funk, street dance, tatting or tetris. Okay? So, ano-ano po yung mga yan? Ito po sila. Locking. Originally, come play locking. Can be traced back to the late 1960s and was created by Don Campbell. It is a style of funk and street dance and originally danced to traditional funk music such as James Brown. So, kailan nyo po si James Brown. Okay? Yung mga music po nun ay po yung tatawag na locking. The name is based on the concept of locking which means freezing from a from a fast movement and locking in a certain position. Holding that position for a short while and then continuing in the same speed as before. It relies on fast and distinct arm and hand hip hip hop manual movements combined with more relaxed hips and legs. The movements are generally large and exaggerated and often very rhythmic and tightly sync with the music. Ang lacking po kasi, ito po yung, para sa akin po, ah, ang lacking po kasi para po siyang naglalak yung katawan po natin. So, may video po tayo dyan. May example po video po tayo dyan. Okay, ito po siya. Lacking hip-hop. Yan, example po ng video po natin. Napapansin nyo po, may slow motion po siya. Then, para siya po siyang exaggerated. Ayan po yung example po na Lucky po natin Okay So, dito po sa tayo sa top The best The best way to describe the movement of Lucky is to imagine a force of energy going into the body because it will look like a wheel These styles is difficult to manage at the technical level as it requiring commands of isolations A perfect knowledge of the body and a good sense of rhythm with a major use to of inc- counter tempo. The style demands continuous constructions of the muscles to the beat to give a jerky snapping effect 
a bouncy style. So, ang popping po natin, ito yung, ito po, may video po tayo dyan. Ang popping po natin, ito po siya. And ito po yung sample ng popping po natin. Then yung ginagawa po niya is isolation ng katawan. Then also the popping. Yung popping po is para po siya nagdalak. Ang kita niyo po yun is the, the popping. Yung kamay po niya at saka pa po niya ay yung ay tinatawag na isolations. Example po niya dyan. Isolation po yun ay sa kamay. Yung sa kamay po is yung tinatawag na isolation. Okay? Then sa katawan naman po niya ay tinatawag na popping. Na binibig na bigla po niya o exaggerated po yung katawan po niya na gumalaw. Then ibibigla po niya. That's the call popping. Then yung kamay is what you call um, isolation. So ibig sabihin na para po siya nag-wave po kamay. Then nagtalak. tayo sa next yung electric boogie electric boogie is a style of popping speaking but the major difference is the popping trains are soft trains there's a lot of fun na whereas electric boogie trains for jerky waves and microwave moves executed with a high velocity modificator Typical than classical popping. The robot and the more smooth of and control movement of mind are characteristic. So, dito po sa boogie po natin, puro, para po siya din po siyang popping na may isolation na nag-wave. Okay? Ayun po yun. Um, may example po tayo dito. Mamaya, wait lang po. Pero, meron pa pala. So, may example po tayo dito, no? Is it that of throwing the body in and out of control like locking or in total hydraulic control like the robot yan, yung para po siyang robot po na yan, yung pinanood nyo po kanina para po siyang may popping pero robotics okay, energy is passed through the body popping and snapping elbows twist necks twist necks, hips and just about all the body joints along the way Electric Boogalo is more like mime in the sense that it imitates a live wire of electrical current and tripping river but it still needs the control of the robot to give it style. So may sample po tayo dito. Para so, sample po tayo ng electric boogie. Yeah, popping electric boogie. Panorin nyo na lang po kung wala po siya sa us. Yan, robotics po siya. Then may kasama pa. And also this isolate of the dad, yung waves na kamay.
Eh, Nakapansin niyo po, nag-stop po siya. At siyempre, yung neck po niya, kumasabay po sa music, and also the twist. Kaya po siya tinawag na electric boogie dahil po siya sa robots style ng pagsasayaw. Yan, yan po yung example ng popping or electric bogey po natin. Okay, let's proceed sa break dancing or b-boying. Break, breaking or b-boying, commonly called break dancing, is a style of dance that involved as part of hip-hop culture among black and Latino Americans youths in the South Bronx, Bronx sorry, during the 1970s. Is a dance to both hip hop and other genre of music that are often mixed, often remixed to prolong the musical breaks. So, dito sa break dancing po natin, alam nyo naman po siguro yan, no? Break dancing. So, proceed na po tayo sa four basic elements form of founding of breaking. Okay, meron po tayo tinatawag dito na top rock. The first is top rock. A term referring to the upright dancing and shuffles. The second element of down rock, which refers to foot work dancing performed of the on the floor. And the first stop rock. Meron po tayo yung top rock. Meron po tayo yung down rock. Meron tayo yung breeze power moves. So isa isa yipun natin yun. So dito sa up rock or top rock. Is a soulful operatic street dance using the rhythm of soul and funk music. The dance consists of foot shuffles, spins, turns, freestyle movements, sudden body movements called jerk, and hands gestures called burns. Upwork is a is said to be mastered by discipline, patience, heart, soul, and knowledge. Okay, dito sa upwork po natin or tinatawag na top work, top rock. Okay, ito po yung example po ng top rock na video. It's a tutorial po siya, pwede nyo po siyang gayahin. Papakita po dyan kung anong example po ng top rock. Ituturo na rin po. Ayan yung steps. On three, I'm going to pull back. Now, when I pull back, it's almost like going to a W. I'm going to pull back, and I'm going to ease my way into a drop like this, right? But now, you know, and when I start doing this, I want to make sure I get warmed up. I don't want to blow out my knees. And take your time with that first. Then, we pick up speed. So, I'm going to start to account, which is going to be pretty fast. When you do it and practice it, practice it slow, so you don't blow out your knees. That's very important. 
We want to be able to keep doing this dance and keep being able to do drops consistently. So I'm going to go to my count. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. 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 This drop is called a straight drop because I'm dropping straight down, both feet next to each other, knees are pretty much together. And when I go down, it's pretty much like a box. I'm going like this. Why this on the floor? Because when I come up, I'm pulling up and I'm stepping again, coming back down here, and I'm pulling up again. So this helps me to pull up. This is what we call a wind up and winding up to the next move. Kaya kaya hindi po yun na. Kaya makinig po kayo maigit. And once again, we're using the Indian step. This time, we're gonna shuffle. Kita pagawa po sa inyo. Sayaw ulit. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. 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 Cool. The last one I'm gonna show you is pretty much a jerk, right? And what makes a jerk different from drops? Jerk naman po. It's basically what we call the fold. Hold is when the legs are on top of each other, and then you're going down to touch the floor. Yeah, yung pinapon yung po is a kind of break dance nga. That's the biggest difference between drops and jerks. So we're gonna take the same step, which is the Indian step, and go into the jerk with the fold. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. 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 All right. So it's important to drop because it's the most dynamic movement in rock. It's really when you come back from the drop into different moves is really where the style really comes out. So let me give you an example. I'm going to start with straight drop. I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, and four. Burn, 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 two, three, and four. So that's an example because when I come back from here and I'm coming back up again, it's a very explosive movement. And once again, when you do drops and jerks, remember it's always on the break. So this has been the Rob Nasty tutorial of drops in rock or up rock. All right. Before I go, I want to give a big fat shout out to my crew, Rock We Rock, and the rest of the crew that I represent, which is the Star Child of Rock. Floor Games Worldwide, Nothing Like Tribe, 1991, San Francisco. You know how we do. So, it's time for you to try this out. And next time I see you, get ready to rock. Yo, na yun po yung po example po ng Up Rock or Top Rock. Okay? Next, ano po tayo? In a punk. Punk dancing originated on the West Coast of the United States. Where it developed in the late 60s as a creation to the fusion of soul and disco as well as early R&B na tinatawag and hip-hop music. It is a highly choreographer dance form similar to dance scene on commercial video clips. It features a mixture of sharp and fluid movements, popping and locking and animated expressions. Ang fucking po kasi yan, example po yan is yung music po niya is Strange for Magic ni Bruno Mars. So, meron po akong example po neto. Sample video ng Funkin. Yan, ayan po example po ng punking po natin. Example po ng punking. Okay, pwede niyo po siyang i-search sa YouTube po. Gusto niyo po ninyo para matapos na po tayo agad. So, next po na po ito. So, next po tayo. Yung street dancing. Street dance is a physical and incorporates dance moves from all over the world. Various dance styles are mixed with a multicultural influence and funky tunes. Generally, a street dance routine can include locking and popping, street style, and funk. Street dance is a fusion of style from hip hop genre. Okay, ibig sabi po ng street dance ay po yung pinagsama-sama na may funk, may 
Ito po ah. May pang, may up rack. May top rack, may down rack, may breeze, may power moves. Ayun po yung pinagsama-sama po na street dancing. Okay? The next is cutting or tetris. Cutting or tetris is a dance style that mimics and angular poses common to Asian Egyptian art. Whoever coined the term probably imagined that this was how king tap dance. Okay, dati po yan. The style is rapidly evolving but there are some consult, constant rule that define it. So, ang cutting po natin, sa kamay naman po yan. Sa kamay. Okay? Paano gumawa yung kamay? Alam po nyo, ito po, may example po ko dito para makikipat po nyo. Cutting, the most important stylistic convention with is that team form 90 degrees angles while this constraint is fundamental and for the most part is not violated. Other aspects of the dance are in flux. Dancer used to utilize a limited set of static generous spice poses but they now have begun to create more complex geometric patterns involving interaction between multiple lines. So, mayroon po akong sample video po dyan sa dating na yan. Ang dating po kasi sa kamay po siya. More on kamay. Ito po. kamay po yan. Siniro ko po yung ano ha. So, music. Yan ang example po sa atin. More on fingers po siya. Na sumasayaw. Pag mabilis po yan, maganda po siyang tignan. Lalo-lalo po is madami po kayo ang gumagawa po yan. Mas maganda po siyang um, panoorin. Yan, tapping po yan ang tapping for that piece. So, ayun po yung mga example po ng elements ng fake dancing. So, sa susunod po na tackle po natin, isusunod po natin tong number 11. Yan. Number 9 pa na. Battle, liquid dance, bugalo, rega. Karami pa po yan. So, dito po, no, sa tapos po natin ngayon is yung hip hop break dancing upang uh, locking, popping, electric boogie, break dancing open the up, rock, punk, street dance, and tattoo dito po nagawa lang po kayo ng hip hop dance okay, ang hip hop dance po yan is mapot po siya ng 90 seconds may 90 seconds na sayaw in 90 seconds na sayaw then isasend po yan sa 
let's say, kung ninyo. Okay? Para sa activity po natin. Okay, yun lang po muna. Sana makinig po kayo. Maibiya, ulitin ko po. Gagawa po kayo ng, sa activities po, gagawa po kayo ng hip-hop dance. Pwede po kayong pumili dyan or di kaya pwede nyo po siyang pagsamasamahin kung saan po kayo komportate. Then, at least 90 seconds ng video ang makikita ko po sa website po ninyo. Yung submit po yan sa website po ninyo. Doon po sa lesson number 5 sa hip-hop dance or is, uh, street dance. Okay? Okay, uh, maliwanag po kung wala na po kayong tanong, mag-tanong na lang po kayo sa messenger. Okay, maraming salamat po.